Hey everybody, all right, let's go through the steps. I will lay out how to do this first assignment of yours. So start things here on the old Blackboard page. Um, open up the slides for February 8th, and you'll get this overview of the steps, which is a good starting point, but it'll probably be useful to watch this video, pause it where you need to. I'll show you how to do all the little things. Apologies for the sniffles, by the way. I got a cold. All right, so according to this, step one, find an electronic text. So from the syllabus, you'll see I got two resources here, Project Gutenberg and Project Gutenberg Australia. These are the two most obvious places. You could also, if you're looking for something, you might just be able to Google it and find it. Uh, if you're looking at stuff like fan fiction, for instance, a lot of that is just easily accessible online. You don't have to worry about copyright. Um, if you're looking at song lyrics, a lot of that you could probably find online without too much trouble. For the classic literary texts, Project Gutenberg is where you go if it's stuff that was published before 1922. Project Gutenberg Australia, if you're kind of hoping to be able to find some things published after 22. Uh, let's go there. It's a very uh, kind of distressingly 90s looking website, but what can you do? So I'm going to search for Virginia Woolf on Project Gutenberg Australia. See what I come up with. Oh, that is not a great looking web page. So I, I pick Wolf because I know that see lots of her stuff is published after 1922, but it's all in the public domain under Australian copyright law, which happened to be identical with Canadian copyright law in this case, so we didn't worry about doing anything illegal here. So they've got a lot of stuff by Wolf. Let's say for this experiment, I'm going to compare the type token ratios of three novels by Wolf. I'm going to look at her early novel, The Voyage Out, which I know is a relatively conventional novel and I would expect to have maybe a pretty low type token ratio. Um, then I'll look at Jacob's Room, which is her first really experimental novel and I would maybe expect to have a higher type token ratio. And maybe The Waves, which is in many ways considered her like most difficult novel, so we could see if the type token ratio on that would be high. So okay, like I said, just got to get it open is the starting point. So find an electronic text, get it open. Once it's open, you just got to select all and copy from the edit menu. So as you can see, I'm using a Mac, I'm using Safari, but these steps are pretty much exactly the same regardless of which uh, platform you're on or even which browser you're using. So this is where I had opened up night and day. So I'm just going to go, like I said, to edit, select all, and then edit, copy. All right, next step you'll see is open a plain text editor like Sublime Text. So unless you have your own preference about a text editor, and some people do, the vast majority of you will not, just get Sublime Text, okay? So the way to do that is go back to the syllabus. I've linked to Sublime Text's page. It's free, at least it's a free trial or a free usable version, so you should be able to see a download link right from the top. <clears throat> if you're on a Windows machine or a Linux, it'll probably tell you right away that that's the version you're going to get. Otherwise, you might go to download and say the particular version you want and install it. I want to show you how to install it. Hopefully, you can install programs on your own, but it's going to be different for every setup. I have already installed it, so I'm going to go to my applications and there is Sublime Text. Open it up. Alright, so this is what I get. I get an empty screen on mine. The first time you fire up Sublime Text on your own machine, it might say like Hello World or something like that. In that case, you would just close it and then go New File. Okay, so I had already done the Select All Copy on the web page where I found this uh, this novel. I actually picked Night and Day, I guess, without realizing it over her actual first novel, but Night and Day is a very good example too, because it too is a very relatively conventional novel. All right, so I'm going to paste that into this window. So like I said in class, the thing you want to do First, once you've got it in here, that's good. You've already done most of the work. You just got to delete anything that's not the actual text. 
with the actual novel. So I'm gonna okay. I'm just gonna take off the start at the beginning. I'll leave the title. I'll leave the dedication. I'll definitely leave all the words of the novel. I'll scroll down to the end and see if there's anything there. All right. I'll, I'll say the words the end are not part of the novel. I'll just make that decision. You could argue otherwise. And then definitely this site is full of free ebooks. It's not. As you can see, Project Gutenberg Australia has a little bit less like annoying garbage at the top and bottom than Project Gutenberg America. So if you've gone to the American Project Gutenberg, you're going to have more uh, deleting to do. All right, so once you've got it all cleaned up, you just go File, Save, and save it somewhere. I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm going to make a new folder called like TTR assignment. I'm going to stick it in there. Nine Day is a perfectly good title for this because that's the name of the novel. Um, I'm going to put .txt because that's how I am and I like to clearly identify this as a text file. You'll probably be just fine if you don't add that file extension, but for me I'm going to do it. Save. All right. So now if I were to go to my desktop in TTR assignment, I've got the file there. It's good. I'm off to a good start. I got one text. So I'll close this now. All right. I'm going to open up a few more now. So I'm going to do night and day. I'm going to do, I said I'd do Jacob's room. I'll actually do it. So it's loaded. Select all. Copy into Sublime Text, new file, open, it's blank, edit, paste, paste it in, delete stuff at the bottom, delete stuff at the top, and then save it. Jacob's room, I'll add the .txt because that's how I roll save if we go back into that folder now we can see we got the two of them that's good all right and i'll get one more so i got three for my comparison so i said i would do the waves all right we'll let it load here all loaded select all copy back into sublime text Nice new empty file, edit, paste. All right, the wave broke on the shore. And back up to the top. See, this one has a little bit more stuff. And mm, I don't think the word 1931 is part of the text. I'm going to delete that. But I've been leaving in titles and author. Clean it up a little bit. All right, that looks good. Save. So it's remembering where I wanted to save it, the waves.txt. All right. So we've completed what is actually probably the hardest part of the assignment finding all of your texts. And my comparison, I've only got three. If I really wanted to do a robust version of this, I would probably look at every single novel by Wolf to watch how her type token ratio changes over the years, but for now, that is good enough. All right, I'm going to go back to the syllabus page. Okay, so we got the text, we got it open, we opened it in Sublime Text, uh, we pasted in the text for each of them, we removed the header and footer information, and we saved the files. Um, we saved them in a folder on our desktop, and we gave it names that we can remember. So now let's actually calculate and compare type token ratios. So um, we're going to upload the files from the Voyant landing page. Let's do that. So Voyant tools right there. So upload, as I said here, upload your files. So upload. And then we're going to find where I had saved these three things, and I can select all of them. Um, the way that on my computer, I think this works for Windows as well, for Mac you select the first thing you want, then you hold the shift key and then you click on the last thing you want and it will select all of them. Um, 
You can also go to select all from the edit menu on a Mac to select all of them. It's, it's nice, it makes this a little bit easier if you select all the text you want at once. So I'm just going to select all three of the text that I'm looking at for my experiment. It takes a little while to upload it, and then, all right, so we've got them all. So let's go into this documents pane, and this will give us all the really pertinent information that we need to begin our assignment. It's not the end of the assignment, but it gets us started. I'm just going to kind of play with these a little bit to see the numbers. All right, so here we've got, this is uh, tokens, total number of words, and types, unique words. I'm going to want to record this somewhere. Just for the purposes of making this really easy, I'm going to, for now, you might want to make a pretty chart in Microsoft Word or in Google Docs or something like that. Um, but for now, I'm actually just going to record this information in the simplest way in Sublime Text. It's a text editor um, text files are like the simplest type of files that exist. So I actually like, I write in Sublime Text, I make notes in Sublime Text, I'm really into the kind of minimalist aesthetic of text editors. But I'm also just going to use it now to record um, my basic information. So Jacob's Room, I'm going to do a tab. Um, the types are 7385 uh, the tokens are 55, 427. I'm not going to worry about even recording the type token ratio for now. You get like a basic view there, but you all remember that it doesn't really matter what the type token ratio is at this stage. It only matters once you've standardized the sample size. To make this a little clearer to myself, I'm going to say that this is types. So night and day types 10, 4, 62, tokens 167, 725. In case you didn't notice, I'm just copying out this information down here. The waves 85, 20, 78, 16. All right, so these are my like non-standardized values. Now, obviously, we need to get the standardized values, which are going to be more useful. And OK, so what sample size are we going to look at? You look at the total length of the shortest text, which is 55, 427. So we're just going to count how many unique words are there in the first 55,427 words of each of these three texts, and then we can actually make a comparison. So I'll set this up beforehand. Jacob's room. Types. The tokens will be the same, so I'm just going to save myself a little bit of time by not bothering to record that, because it's going to be 55,427 for all of them. Um, but I will record the TTR this time. All right, so the way that we do this, to do the standardized TTR, use the TTR comparison tool link from the syllabus, working two texts at a time, upload the text and indicate the sample size that you want to compare. All right, so we're going to leave Voyant tools, and we're going to go to the TTR comparison tool. So you can only work two at a time in this tool, kind of annoying. But as I mentioned, I kind of did that on purpose because I don't want to make this assignment too easy. I want you to actually understand what you're doing. So first we'll do Jacob's Room and Night and Day. Let me go back to my little notes here. So I want to look at 55, 427. Just going to cut and paste that in. 55, 427. That's my sample size. Now I mentioned that you're going to see different results here for unique words from this tool and from... Um, the tool that you used from Voyant, and for the purposes of this assignment, we're going to trust what uh, what the TTR comparison tool tells us. So to make my life a little easier, rather than like typing this out and remembering it, I'm just going to copy that number. So Jacob's room 
um, has 7651 unique words. 7651, I'll copy, calculate the TTR in a minute. So you see that is different. This says 7385, this says 7651. It's a bit different. Sometimes it'll be more different than that too. Night and day, I'm gonna copy that number and stick it into my results. All right. And just because this assignment actually is about something in chronological order, I'm just gonna put them in the right order. Yeah, yeah, let me start with I'm not going with alphabetical order here. I'm looking at chronological order, early, middle, and late novels. Okay, now I'm going to look at, um, well, I need two so I can calculate Jacob's room one more time just for fun, but the waves is the one I'm interested in this time. Sample size is good. All right, and the waves, 7343. That's what I'm interested in, copy. Paste that number in. All right, so now we can do type token ratios for all of these. I'm gonna do the easiest way is to just use it. You can actually do like division right in here if you want and it will give you answers, but um, we might as well open up the calculator. Calculator tool, every computer's got one. Okay, so we're gonna divide. Remember there's, for this, all of these, there's gonna be 55, 427 tokens and there's gonna be um, so we'll divide this by that times 100 to get our TTR. So uh, 6387 divided by 55427 five, equals times 100 equals. And for this, we're just going to refer to one decimal point, okay? So 11.5%. All right. Now... 7651 divided by 55427 five, equals times 100 equals 13.8. Finally, 7343 divided by 55427. Five, equals times 100 equals 13.2. All right, so that's the whole assignment. Um, I have all the information that I now need. I might want to make a slightly prettier chart than this. In fact, I would, and I'd want to do it in, uh, make a nice chart in Word or something like that, make it look nice. Um, but this is all the information that I actually need types, tokens, and TTRs, standardized um, and non-standardized values up there. Um, in terms of results, this does more or less confirm what I expected. I expected that her early novels would have lower type token ratios and her later more experimental ones would have slightly higher type token ratios. Um, since I know Wolf pretty well, I might want to say more about this and I'll leave the specific kind of like reflections to you on your assignment. I won't teach you how to do that just yet, but this is how you actually do the numbers. All right, so with this video, you should be able to do the entire assignment in terms of the technical stuff. You probably still have questions for me about various little things. You might have technical uh, issues along the way too. Feel free to just email me um, or come see me in office hours and I'll help you out.